Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Didi and I make videos about the little things in life that I like. So in today's video, we'll be doing uh, one unboxing. I was gonna say a little bit of boxing, but it's one item that I purchased from Louis Vuitton. And it's something I've been wanting for a while and I finally decided to buy the bullet, so to speak. So before we get started, if you're new here, I would gladly appreciate you if you could take a second to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will really appreciate it. So, let's get her. Get her. This is... Jeez. As you can see, it is a big box, so it is a big item. So by i'm probably gonna put it on the title or the thumbnail it is a louis vuitton miracle and we all know what happened with the story that broke a few months back where louis vuitton decided to not discontinue per se but limited stock on the miracle where you cannot where you can no longer buy it in store and you have to go on a wait list this whole marketing scheme you know how they do it and that's that's how they got me that's how they got me and me you tell me i can get something i want it more so no <laughs> it's something no i really wanted this because I, I have the uh, monogram and i've been wanting to add another one so when they decided to take them off their website and uh the whole shipping that happened so i couldn't get it um uh, I was like, eh, you know what? I'll look for an alternative. And then the other day, I was on my phone scrolling the internet. I wasn't scrolling there. I was scrolling to Louis Vuitton the, to the Louis Vuitton website, and I saw it in stock. I'm like, oh, excuse me, <laughs> what happened to the whole wait list thing? But no, so that's how they do it now. Uh, you can no longer purchase it in store but you can get them online on the website on the louis vuitton website because ever since uh since i purchased this it's been out of stock and it came back out of stock and it came back. i think the way they do it they put it out for like a few days couple of days i count like couple of days i counted then they take it off and then a couple of days later you go back it's available again so if you do want a never forward it's monogram can monogram canvas uh leather version whatever it is uh, you go on the Louis Vuitton website, check every couple of days and see if the leather or the pattern you want is available. That's that's how they make it now. Which is not terrible because they didn't take it off completely. Because the whole waitlist, I'm not, I'm not going to go on a waitlist for another hole. I, I want another hole, but I don't think I'm going to go on a waitlist for another hole. I probably would. Anyways, let's see, let's get this thing started. So this is the box. So it is um so we already know that I have the monogram canvas, so this one's not the monogram canvas. So let's open it. So we could inspect it. So yeah, I ordered this um uh, probably was like three in the morning. And when I saw it available, I'm like, oh I took hard purchase. I ordered this thing so fast, my head spin. So, here it is. The ribbon is off. So, let's open her. I'm very excited about this point because it's something I do not have yet. And I've been wanting to add this because I have monogram, I have Damir Bean in my uh, album, and I have my. PD up there and that may be in. and I have another monogram piece back there but then I don't have anything in the Demir Resort which is this one okay I'm excited Ooh. Ah, there it is I got the never full and forgive my nails you guys I'm about to go get it done when I finish her I got the Neverfull MM and the Damir, 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 Damir So let's unhook this and do a little quick inspection. 
This is my first Dime Year Zor print. Here it is. All right. And we all know that all the neighborhood comes with a little pouch. Okay. And I got the rose ballerina inside. Because the when I ordered this, the beige one was not available. I'm trying to see where. If it says we're made in where. I think they moved the location. Maybe. I don't know where they moved it to. The made in thing. I'll look at it later and see. If I find it, I'll just put it on the screen where it's made. Because most of my bags that I purchased in the while I'm in the US are made in France. Yeah, most of them are made in France. So this one. So I heard somebody moved it. I don't know. Where the heck is it? I'm curious. I don't know what it. This one's made in. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'll look for it. <laughs> so this is her. It's all. All right. So let's take a look at the leather. It has a vaqueta leather trimming, which. I'm gonna have to start using so it will start patina it because I do not like it when it's that bright beige. And one thing that happened to my uh, other Neverfull, I got caught in the rain with it so I have water spots in it already but I'm okay with that. And if later on it becomes a batter, I'll just set it in for repair. Um, I guess that's why we pay the price we pay because they can be repaired if you need to. So everything looks good, and I did get a what should I call it? The thing you put inside organizer for it. So this is her. That's the M M size, and it has a pouch. Let's see. I'm gonna unhook. How did I unhook the pouch for this one? I have to unclip it. And okay, I will do that later. Let me see if this one says where it's made in. No. If anybody knows where they moved the made in, what? Tell me, please. Oh, there it is. Ah, it's made in the. It says Louis Vuitton made in USA imported materials and components. So this one was made in the US. But to me, it doesn't matter where it's made as long as the bag comes in the condition that I paid for, which supposed, which is superb and we know that doesn't always happen but yeah everything looks fine to me so yeah, I'm gonna put the organizer in it and put my stuff in and I'm gonna model it for you so give me one let me pause all right so I put the organizer in I unhook the pouch with rather wristlet wristlet and then this one, I just got it off Amazon, the organizer, for like 20 some bucks. I think I got the same model I had for my other one, or it was a little bit different, but it's an organizer. You don't have to spend a lot of money for an organizer, you know, as long as it do what it's supposed to do. So this is her. So I got my uh, monogram one, was it last year or about a year and a half ago? Almost two years. Yeah, so when I bought that one, I think I purchased it for 16 something, 1600. And then this one, they recently had a price increase. It is now $22,030. Now that's the price for the Nervo MM. And the GM is like a few dollars, a few hundred, not a few hundred. I think like a hundred dollars more, and the GM is like a hundred dollars less. Around there. So. If you want a never fool, I know some people say never fools are out of date, whatever. Don't listen to anybody. You like it, you get it. I liked it, I wanted it, I got it. So, yeah, if you uh, want a never fool, just check on the website periodically. As of filming of this video and posting, it's still available on the website. So just go onto the Louis Vuitton website and you could order it right then and there. So this is her. Let's see. Show you. Let me 
hit me like right a little above my hips so this is my denier azure and where's my there's my denier not denier my oh oh this is my monogram it is packed with books and stuff because i think i used it last when i had to go to class but yep this is my monogram and this is my the mirrors and i'm gonna fill it up with some stuff so it will ship like this one so this is them let me put this back because this shit is heavy and <laughs> you you already know where this video is going because there's one more missing <laughs> And if you know the um the classic um uh, Neverfull comes in three they comes in the one I showed you the monogram the mirror and the this one the the mirror bean and I don't want that so I'm <laughs> you might see another unboxing pretty soon because I figured out how to get it now like I uh, don't even bother going to the store they don't have them in store anymore just go online so I'm just gonna order the other one online and will show you that one as well because i always wanted the complete trifecta it's a thing with us louis vuitton lovers we all want the trifecta so yeah and i thought that dream was shattered when they announced their uh nonsense pr nonsense i think it was all for publicity i think so this is her i'm gonna start wimbling now and go get my nails done so it was nice seeing you guys. I know I've been um, a little bit of MIA for the past few months. Uh, there was a good reason for that because a few months back I hurt my shoulder at work. So I had to take a few weeks off. And then I had to go back and forth to physical therapy, doctor's appointment every day. Back and forth, back and forth. By the time I get home, I'm tired. I'm, I was not in a good mood at that time. So I, I recorded a bunch of videos because I was off. I mean, I was out of work. I'm not out of work because I had, I was in my duty for a little bit. But I was out of, um, I was hurt, but I was still, I was still shopping. My fingers were working, so I was still <laughs> shopping. And you know, the all this uh, end of season sales that just happened. So I bought a bunch of stuff on socks. I got some few handbags that I'm gonna do a few more unboxing because I have couple more unboxing to do because I purchased a few handbags that I have to show you guys yeah I recorded a few videos I just didn't have the time to I was in the right I was not in the right mindset so I'm like let me just take a little break and then when I come back I'll be my best self again which I am yeah so all is good now I'm back to work uh full uh full load I'm no longer on night 2d that was only for a couple of weeks though but I'm back to work um everything's good um uh, my doctors clear me nothing everything's fine with my shoulder all good now so i'm thankful for that but yeah and i've been super busy too with other stuff you know life so that's why i was in my for a few months i think my last last video i posted was the what i got for my birthday which my birthday is in february and i think i posted that video like a month later so probably been off youtube for like five months oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys five months so yeah i've been out for five months i wasn't out for five months i was just taking some time on top of everything that happened with my shoulder and like i was not in the best mood so i took a little time off and now i'm back and better and i'm glad to be back to see you guys and talk to you guys and interact with you guys again and please if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please take a second to hit the button and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next video bye